Let's talk about the Wix Accessibility Wizard. When we're making a website accessible, we're making it usable by the largest amount of people possible. In this case, when we're talking about accessibility, we're typically talking about people with sight impairments. So they might be fully blind or colorblind, and we want to make the website as easy as possible for them to use. So these people, if you remember when we talked about alt text and alt tags, these people are going to be using screen readers to read, read what's on the screen, what's on your website page, back to them. We wrote the alt text to describe our images, but there's some other things we can do to make sure that our site's ready to go to be accessed by people with sight impairments in, in all different kinds of ways. So to access the accessibility wizard, we go up here to settings, and then accessibility wizard about halfway down, we click that, and this little sidebar pops up, and then the wizard will scan your whole site for you and tell you what issues might be outstanding. So here, um, typically it's going to be one of three things. It's going to be heading definitions, so you haven't set your headings right. It's going to say that you haven't written alt text for certain images. Or it might tell you that the color contrast is too difficult to see for people who might be colorblind or have sight impairments. Okay, so all you have to do is work through all of these items in the accessibility wizard. It'll probably take, you know, 15 minutes and then your site will be more accessible and Google will look favorably on your site because it's uh, accessible for people with these issues. So let's take a look at a couple of these. Main heading, it's asking what's the main heading of our website? Now, although we have let's get moving in big text, the main heading, what we want Google to think our site's about is actually Leslie Adams Fitness Trainer in Austin, Texas because that has our location and our keyword that we're trying to rank for. So we're gonna actually set that as the main heading. So there we go. So we made Let's Get Moving, our H2, that's gonna be nested underneath Leslie Adams Fitness Trainer in Austin, Texas. So let's define that heading. Okay, in the next heading definition, it's gonna ask us about Leslie Adams Fitness Trainer in Austin, Texas. So it's asking us to define whether it's an H2 or plain text, paragraph text. We actually have already defined this as our H1. So remember, theme, and your actual HTML tag are different. And we set this as our H1, the main topic of the homepage of our website. So I'm not actually gonna make any changes here. They're asking us if we wanna change it, but no, we, we, we're gonna keep it as H1. Okay, then the next option is to define the alt text. Now remember, when we're writing alt text, we wanna be descriptive of our image. So we would say something like, young woman doing squats with a barbell in the gym. We'll set that alt text. There we go. And so that's heading definitions and alt text, and I'll go through these uh, and fill all these out. And then, let's see if there's any color contrast. So we don't have any color contrast issues, but sometimes if your text, for example, is like a dark gray on a black background, or it's light, light gray on a white background, and things are hard to read, they'll tell you that you're having an issue with color contrast, and so all you have to do is click Edit Text and make it a higher contrast color, okay? So in a nutshell, that's the Accessibility Wizard, and now I'm going to go through and just fill all these out real quick. Okay, so we've completed the accessibility wizard, and now they say, well done, you made it to step two. So in step two, they're, gonna, they're just going to give you some tips on how to find accessibility issues that didn't show up in the scan. So you click continue to step two, it's going to give you some more information. It says, maybe we don't have a descriptive link text, so like read more. It could, for example, be read more about this training service, something like that. Text and images, if you have an image that has text in it, you can put that text in the description. So for example, for our logo, Leslie Adams, we put Leslie Adams Fitness Trainer. So we're good to go there, we'll just say that's done. Uh, link text, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this is done. Um, using color, so this is the same contrast issue we talked about before. Your text should be high contrast on the background so it's easy to read, so we'll say that's done. Zoomed content, everything should be readable on your site if you zoom into 200%. We'll say that's done. Media alternatives, so all our files should have text alternatives. Again, that's kind of like the alt text. So 
here it's talking about if we have audio files or video files, we need subtitles, captions, that kind of stuff. So we'll say that's done. And then accessibility statement, we should have an accessibility statement. Um, this isn't really a huge issue if you don't have these. Most sites aren't going to have an accessibility statement, but you're free to add this if you'd like. So we'll say that's done. And there we go. And then we can scan our site a final time to make sure everything's good to go. And here it says we have some issues on the, the access, or sorry, the services page. Yeah, it's asking about, here we go, our service names. And then it's asking about these uh, placeholder images. So not the actual image, but because remember we set this up with the repeater, this page. So we'll say this image is decorative, it doesn't need a description. Okay. So we'll set those up. Done. And now it says you're all done. Publish your site to make your changes live. Got it. Publish. Okay. And all it took me about 12 minutes to make the site accessible, but that'll go a long way towards showing Google that you're committed to accessibility and that your site is easy to use for people with any impairments. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys.